Hey everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play world, but more specifically, a build ideas video. I've done a couple of these in the past, but this one's gonna be more based around me just wanting to add some more detail to my world. And in the process, I'm gonna show you how to build each and every little thing I'm gonna be adding to my world today. All right, so let's get started. First of all, with the new azalea trees, you can use these uh, bubble coral blocks to make them look like they're actually fruits you're picking. Oh no! Okay, don't make that mistake. Well, I can't use that one now, but you gotta put water under it. I wish you could revive them. They're dead now. That one's dead. This fruit rotted, um, but this one's good. <laughs> Industrial builds. These are really fun because Minecraft seems like it's themed around the medieval age, but it's also really easy to build industrial style with the new blocks in this game. So some of the beehives, these can look like good storage crates. Then with any fence block of your choosing, you can make a makeshift ladder like this. Uh, I know you can obviously place a normal ladder, but that actually looks like a proper ladder. This place does have some builds in it though, such as up here, and this is another idea. A lot of you haven't seen this, and this is just mass storage in this sort of style, a warehouse style, I should say. Now another idea is a trick in a graveyard. I saw this on a picture on Twitter. What you do is dig out six blocks in front of a grave. You put down lecterns like so, and it looks like an open casket. Now it's great to build a factory in your world, and you should, because it can house a lot of different industrial items. Let's make a little stone cutting section over here. Now you can just build something a little bit like this here for the stone cutting station. And then you can add some stone piled up on the sides. Another small idea is to have a coal corner, especially what in places like this, but I use black stone because you can see it a little bit better. Coal can sometimes be like too dark. Um, we'll just do something like this. All right, buddy, good luck up there. <laughs> and add a wheelbarrow next to it. So trying to get computers in Minecraft or make things look like computers is quite hard. This is the best block in my opinion, which is the smoker. It looks like a little computer screen and that's the keyboard. But there are other ways such as making a giant map and then making a giant pixel art. But there's also a way you can do it with banners. So you can make a little station like this and then you get a black banner and take the light gray dye and do the surrounding part and then do the line through the middle. And then you got monitors. Oh, I was even surprised when I saw this. This is awesome. <laughs> You could also make one look like it's slightly on by adding blue. Here's another build hack you can do. Put an armor stand in the ground with a pumpkin on its head, a carved pumpkin. Then you're gonna put a composter above its head. Put a piston above that. Power the piston. Get rid of all these blocks. And then as you can probably tell by now, you now have a little pumpkin and a wheelbarrow, which is perfect where you can put next to your pumpkin farms. With the new azalea bushes, take the moss block and you can put them on top and make them any height you want. Next to wherever you have a farm, you can build something like this for automatic composting. Now when you have leftover materials, you can put them in there, it'll filter into there. And the hopper below will collect it in here and then you'll get bone meal. Try using basalt to make dead trees and maybe add some chains around it because the new basalt blocks in this, I think this is the polished version, they both look like wooden textures. Changing up this pumpkin farm here a bit, uh, if you put a slab in the ground right there so you have one and a half blocks above, put an armor stand down there and then put a jack-o-lantern on, then put a dirt block above the head, push that down once, push it down once more, and then you have a small pumpkin. And you can catty corner them compared to normal pumpkins. I like it. You can also use sea pickles to make it look like your pumpkins have stems, but as well, the yellow candles that are in the new update look a little bit better because the stem is actually yellow on these pumpkins. Now another build here is if you have a kitchen in your world, get four campfires and go ahead and place them on top of each other like so. 
Now go ahead and throw on your raw meats, but don't let them cook all the way. Ah, I knew I made this freezer for a reason. I have raw meats down here. I never have any. Hey, there's an idea as well. Make a freezer like this and put some raw meats in them. Quartz and barrels like this make it look like ribs or even use these glazed terracottas to make them look like hanging sacks of bodies of cows. <laughs> then go ahead and close it all up by using trapdoors. You know, the classic closet design. Just like so. Now you have, whoops. And there you go. Now you have a little pantry for your meats. This video is mainly intended for random people on the internet, so my subscribers probably already know this, but as, if you have an old world, slowly add foliage all over your house like I am doing to show the progress and maybe how old it is. Maybe whatever material you're using, maybe stone brick, start adding in some mossy stone brick or cracked. And maybe when you have creeper explosions in your house, don't repair it with the original item, but with something else. Because over time, the more you do this, the more unique your place will end up looking. When an update comes out, such as when we got this copper here, if you have a lab or any other type of thing you want to build it in, um, try studying the features. Like, I actually built this lab to learn more about copper. And it's also, of course, for looks, because I'm building a lab here, but sometimes it helps you learn more about the game. Not sure what to do with a front or side yard? Make a little wheat field, but don't make it all wheat. Add in some tall grass every so often and some potatoes. And then don't even fill it up all the way. Put some pod sole down, make a little barrel like this, or even a small beehive like that. It's the small details that count. Find a random spot in your world and make a little well. Start off with some walls if you're choosing like that, then put two fences on each one. Some stairs around the sides. This one can go upside down. Put an item frame on that one. Now throw some trap doors on top of the fences and on these put slabs. Go ahead and place your water source. Up here you can put a full block, then put a grindstone upside down and a chain on that grindstone. And you got a little pulley system. Of course this well isn't practical because it's not an infinite water source, but it's just mainly for looks. Now you're most likely not going to use every inch of your world for building, so with the new moss blocks and where you have like a little grouping of trees, really overgrow the new moss stuff and the tall grass and just make it look like a part that you haven't taken care of in a while and that you don't plan on building at. And add some of the new glow berries dripping down. It looks pretty good. Wow, I just now learned this. You can actually dye signs with just dyes now. <laughs> That's so much easier than those weird letterings you used to have. Hey, there's an idea. Make yourself an office. You always need an office. Oh, hey, Bob. Look at this. I know this is part of the Let's Play, not this building video, but he sells dripstone now. Oh, I don't have that. I need that. Stay here, Bob. <laughs> well, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Just thought I'd make a short video showing you guys some new ideas. Some of them probably aren't new, they've been around for a while, but maybe I can refresh your mind on some stuff you can do in your world. Let me know if you want me to do more of these, I'll be more than happy to. It adds more details into my world, so I definitely don't mind doing it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Oh, you can't place this down? Does it need water? Oh, oh it goes in water. Oh, and I can't get it back. Bye-bye. <laughs>